everyone this is sadaf here i this is my unit what is it to be moral ethical or just this is my presentation to you this is just a 5 minute intro to my unit i'll give you the time to have a look at it in a little more detail but i'll start off with this powerpoint um which will tell you the context in which this unit was created so for module 4 project 3 which is part of my online training um we were asked to make a presentation about the ways in which language a language and literature course can connect with works in other disciplines attend to demands of the core components assume a continuum of learning or offer connections to elements of the learner profile and so this powerpoint is all about answering these four questions how does the course that i have designed um of a connections to elements of the learner profile how is the course of a connections to the core which is tok or cas or extended essay i have made connections to tok so i'm going to be putting that in here how is the course relevant to other courses disciplines or pro programs this is also some research that is available on prc which i've looked at it in that context and then how does this unit of study address issues of international mindedness and diversity so take your time and have a look at this um powerpoint it is basically focusing on how i have integrated the research into the um unit and uh, you can have a look at that move on to areas of exploration thank you to eric for providing us with this lovely um knowledge organizers thank you eric so i've used them in the context of the unit have a look at it in your own time as to how you could integrate the areas of exploration into the unit okay now once you've done that i will briefly discuss with you what is my plan for teaching of the unit so these are the inquiry questions what is it to be moral define ethics as an area of knowledge a tok question define individual social philosophical communal universal morality what are the notions of moral order virtue and vice as seen by the greeks and romans so we come from the greeks and romans we start off with aristotle's ethics and this is a quite an extensive document which would could be used as a non literary body of work as well for the global issue of beliefs values and education or you could use it even for power politics and justice if you want to look at it from that perspective we are going to move on from aristotle to plato's meno to the melian dialogue you know three short excerpts on how the greeks viewed morality and moving from there i would then move on to oedipus rex now oedipus rex is selected because it discusses a lot about a lot of issues of morality especially linked linking it later much later if you can already foresee it to the freudian oedipus complex which we can then take the students to um words then after oedipus i would have them move on to hamlet okay hamlet is going to be looking at the moral dilemmas of a philosopher and um we could also differentiate and either teach hamlet or macbeth which will be looking at the moral dilemma of a soldier so if anybody wants to do that the ship all record the pressures of it the ambitions that come with it you could look at macbeth in a very different way and hamlet could be looked at in a different way after hamlet i would like to switch on to death and the king's horseman which is a play by shoinka and it tells us about the colonial perspective and how the colonialists viewed the ritual suicide of the king's horseman once the king died as pagan and brutal and in um something that needed to be stopped so they arrest the man before the ritual suicide trying to prevent it it's a very very interesting uh, perspective on how the moral um viewpoints of a tribal culture will differ from the colonialists and so the conflict that comes as a result of that who's right and who's wrong is really hard to tell when people have been um, morality has been ingrained into the belief system of culture so the questions of identity culture and language also come in here if i have time i would love to move on finally to helen garner garner's um 
novel which is based on her own journalistic experience of this murder of this a uh, young boy by his girlfriend they both decided to commit suicide so she overdosed him and he died and then she was put into jail and it's a whole story about the court case and what happened and how she was excused and what is the state of the law what is the moral was it just the decision that was taken what was the woman she was accused of mental health issues or something and um allowed to you know let go after she completed her degree in jail and then she was released so it's a very interesting perspective also gana is a journalist so she kinds of moves between um journalism and literature so where does factual reporting begin and where does literature and interpretation come in is a very interesting text to do that although i don't think i will have everybody do this because i don't think i can do so much i will differentiate definitely um then you have godo which would be a wonderful postmodernist um follow up so i am going to hopefully differentiate with godo hamlet and gana and there's a lot of the basic framework guys is basically looking at how morality was once considered to be a universal something that was universally recognized by everyone um and then we moved on to moral relativism so these are some nice po- things here then we also move on to uh moral freedom so the last thing that i would like to look at is justice what's the right thing to do michael sandrels i've given you a pdf of this text as well it's really worth listening to i've got an audio book of it i'm going to use that to get the children to look at some of the case studies it's really interesting because he looks at how justice has evolved as a concept which is mixed with virtue and moral freedom and so how hesitant we are to associate virtue um with justice and so how far we've come from the greeks okay once we've done that mark gave us the idea of the rise up and write youth voices for human rights which i'm working on with brain right now i hope i can get around to making a um, an opportunity for the children to advocate um you could click here if you want and have a look at it to advocate what they want to talk about in in terms of morality justice and world issues and it's a writing project youth voices in journalism youth voices for human rights advocacy for activism so i hope that through this i'd be able to um get them to do some cas um in addition lastly i think um fuko is somebody you've got to read to understand the grand narratives the moral pressures that people have been looking at and trying to deal with um and this is it i think it's a long 8 minutes that i've kept you thank you for listening um i'd love your feedback on this um thank you to carry i think who shared this ted talks on the pursuit of justice carry i'm going to have a look at it in more detail and see how we could integrate that as a non literary text as well if you want to look there's a lot here 20% of this is going to be used by teachers and i think um i'll have to move according to the levels of my students so having said that i've enjoyed creating this unit and i hope that some of you um enjoy teaching it as well thank you everyone all feedback on the forum would be most welcome take care bye bye